Well, you shouldn't have clapped because I know you're going to clap for number three because then your domestic workers are gone, then your restaurant waiters are gone. Number three, I'm going to mess, mess deport all the illegal foreigners in this country. I'm going to punish households and businesses that still hire illegal foreigners. We've got a 60% unemployment use for South Africa. Don't tell me about any illegal foreigner while we have South Africans that doesn't have any other country that needs to be looked after by the government. So mass deportation will happen in 2024. In the next few months, we're going to deport all your gardeners, all your people that look your nannies, all the people. You can't go to a restaurant here in Western Cape and you struggle to be served by a South African. And that's the truth that you don't want to hear. You come and tell us, no. And most of you in this room will say, no, but you know, Zimbabweans are very hardworking. No. You subtly longing for the old days of Yabas. I'm going to bring God back into schools, God back into our lives. We, nothing in this country will come right because they've written God out of our lives. If God is not the center of anything you do, you are wasting your time. It's time for South Africans to stand up for our God. I just come from holiday from in Qatar, in Dubai. Those people put Allah first and foremost. That's why the countries are prosperous. South Africa, we were all baptized. We grew up, and it's time that we must tell our children there's a God, and they must know it. That's number one. Number two, I'm bringing conscription back. I'm not going to pay kids 500 rents to be on welfare. A third of this country's children are on welfare, of this country's people. A third is on welfare. That's a state. We are a welfare state. A third of your citizens get 500 rents for doing what? I'm sending each and every 18-year-old to the army to go and learn some skills and be paid that 500 rents, at least being of service to the country. Number three. Well, you shouldn't have clapped because I know you're going to clap for number three because then your domestic workers are gone, then your restaurant waiters are gone. Number three, I didn't come here today to come and polish or to make you feel you are right. But you are wrong, let me tell you. The, the man with the most integrity I've met in politics will be Corny Mulder from the Freedom Front Plus. Corny Mulder phones me. Herman Masaba calls me, and I'm finishing with the day now. And they say to me, they say, let's do a deal. Let's do a deal. Come on our side. The day after the election, come to the meeting. I walk to the meeting. Bantolo Misa stands here. I'm standing here. Herman Masaba stands here. Courtney Murder stands there. Helen Zilla walks in. She greets Bantolo Misa. She greets me. And Herman Masaba outstretched his hand and she didn't greet him. Now, common decency is something that you have to have no matter what. When I came here, I had to greet the mayors. I went to the deputy mayor and I went to the mayor because that is just the decent thing to do. I'm in the area. Now, how will you build a government with somebody that you can't take the hands? If you are bewitched by Helen Zeller, I am not, and don't bring that spell upon me. Because she's rude, she's obnoxious, she thinks she owns the intelligence of us all. She's the reason why the DA will lose power. She's the reason why I will not go with the DA in the Western Cape. Because no matter how we differ, let's differ respectfully. When Corne and Mulder called me, and I'm mentioning them because they are here, you can ask them, 2021 after the election, the ANC Paul Masatile called me. I said, I'm going with the DA. I said, I choose the DA. While the whole ANC beat my door down. Because Action and uh, Freedom from Plus spoke to me. Our deal was, we will get two seats. Freedom from Plus came to me. They said, take our seat. Because Helen refused to give me a seat. I took the seat of freedom from plus. And then we asked for other seat and she refused. 
I said to you, you're going to lose NISNA. You are going to lose TWK. You are going to lose Oatswaran. Today you're losing Sierras, which I'm, I'm speaking to now, they're losing uh, place in Sierras. I said to her, what you are doing is wrong. They laughed at me. They betrayed me. Six months, sorry, a year and six months after, I was on holiday and I get a call from Courtney Mulder. Jason, I know you're angry with the DA. John still isn't asked for us to meet. I said, I don't want to meet with that guy. He says, Dayton, please do it for South Africa. We met men to men. Myself, John Stilleson, and Courtney Mulder at his house. We shook hands on a new deal that we will return Naisna, we'll return Houghton, Jobak, we'll return Twani. We said we shook hands like men. He says he went on the phone. He came back. He says, I just need one proof that you've changed. Now, that is already not a nice thing to say to a guy like me. Why must I prove myself to you? I'm not my father or my grandfather. And I said, what is it? He said, tomorrow morning, can you vote for us in Chwani? That was 10 past 11 when I said, I will. What's I speaking to my party? Structures. I risk it. I told my counsel, I'm giving an instruction, you vote against the ENC in Swami. She did that. Immediately after doing that, the, we had a deal. The Sunday, I read the papers, they say I'm corrupt. I'm a piece of shit. Now you want me to go back to that and betray my people. I'm the leader of the PA, not the leader of the DA. And I'm dead. I want to stop there because i got six minutes left to talk about South Africa. Now, nobody should. Now you understand that's the truth. Herman is coming here. You can ask them what I've just told you. I'm publicly saying this, so I'm not lying to you. So now you know how the story with the DA ended. And, and the reasons, the behind the scenes, for the first time I've given to you. You know what? And here's the second point about South Africa. South Africa... The moonshot pet is still born. Politics is about the past. A past to politics, it's about the past. There's no path for the moonshot pet, even if some of them get double. The moonshot pet doesn't have enough people. They didn't attract enough people. Zuma is now busy with the patriotic front. Now, Zuma, John Steele should go and sit with a notepad on how to deal with other people's parties. Zuma was wishing Malema in a video, happy birthday, saying you are the future. Zuma speaking to everyone, they spoke to me. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not willing to join the patriotic front. But he's picking them up while John Stilleson doesn't understand the assignment. We, I don't have, I only have matric, he only has matric. This assignment apparently was given at university where you have to understand people's relationships. He's rather say, we don't want Dayton. You don't want me because I beat your ass in every by-election and today there's a by-election in Ristafal. I'm going to beat the DA again today. You watch the news tomorrow morning. And if they beat me, then you must know everything I said, you was this shit. And you know what? The last time they beat my ass in Ristafa. But I want to show you how far the mighty has fallen. So the moonshot pack is out. It's out. Let me tell you. I don't see how they're going to get to 50. Even with the majority of them going over things. So what's going to happen in 2024? The ANC is sick. But they're not dead. They are not in the mortuary. They are in ICU. So what's going to happen? And these are the facts you must just live with. The ANC and the EFF can form a government. You're watching the wrong game. The game you should be watching is the game between the EFF and PA. Because we want to be that person that rather form the government and not the EFF. 
Rob mentioned it, property rights. I don't believe in BE. Don't say to me, you've made your money to BE. I didn't. BE already found me rich. I say to you, you cannot bring anybody in my business. I don't care what Kali did. He is and say I must be my new partner. That's not how business works. And I hear people say, yeah, but Mashaba says made men. I am a made man. I come from a maximum security jail. I spent my whole youth in prisons across this country. The first time I saw real freedom was at the age of 30. At the age of 30, I built myself up. I started corporate businesses. I bought listed companies, shares in listed companies. I understand the concept of business. I have thousands of people working for me. I've got multiple businesses. So if God comes down and says no political leader should ever do politics, I wouldn't have a problem because I understand where my bread and butter is coming from. So to everybody in this room, there comes a time and a place in every country's life where the country dies or it rises. No other way. There's no sideways. You die or you rise. We are there. After 2024, I was sitting with Crystal Visa and Rob and I was talking, listening to the nonsense they talk about guns. White people have guns. And I'm thinking like, you can have all the guns you want. When the black masses rise, they will flatten you. And it's not scaring you. It's a position we have to stop. Number one, this country, democracy, is not working for us. 69 people get murdered in this country, and you worry about the Constitution. So let me tell you, it was my last minute, why anybody that loves South Africa should be voting for me. I was the mayor for one year in Central Karua. The most corrupt, the most poorest, there were 230,000 in the bank when I arrived there, in Beaufort and the surrounding places. The people were using bucket toilets for 80 years. The swimming pools were not working. The people in Luhanka were drinking dirty water. They have to cook the water before they could drink it. And if there's load sharing, nobody drinks water. I became a mayor and I said, in 100 days, if I don't fix the water situation in Yohamka, in 100 days, if I don't fix the bucket toilets and make sure nobody uses a bucket toilet, in 100 days, if I don't fix...